Right, so I love the idea of a campfire, but I really hate wood smoke. So when you call this a smokeless fire pit, like how smokeless is it really? So inevitably, all fires are going to have some amount of smoke. And the same is the case for this smokeless fire pit. See, this fire pit relies on a secondary burn chamber. And for that to really get going, the whole contraption needs to really heat up. And that takes about five minutes or so. So you could have some amount of smoke for as long as five minutes. But after that, the smokeless fire pit gets going, burning super hot, and it's going to burn away all the smoke. Okay, so when you say secondary combustion chamber and it needs to heat up, like what do you mean? What's going on there? Right, so maybe it's better if I show you one of the smokeless fire pits that I've made. So I have a small design here, and you see there's a series of holes on the outside, and these actually, some of them penetrate all the way to the inside, and that's the first burn chamber. The secondary chamber, it's not really a chamber at all, it's just a second level of this fire pit. And on the inside you can see there's a series of holes here, but not on the outside. So really, if you were an air particle coming in through here, Okay. Exactly. It's coming in through the side. Some of it is burning at the bottom, but some air particles are coming up the side, heating up as they travel this section right here. And then when they come into the smoke and the fire, they reignite that smoke. Think of an air particle, the way it's going to go through here. It's going to come in through those two holes. It's going to do in its initial burn down here. So we'll call that the first combustion. Now that air particle that only goes to the outer layer, hits that wall, starts to heat up, it travels upward. And when it meets, when it actually comes into this chamber in here, that air particle is super hot. So now that means that there's less energy required for that air particle to cause combustion. And what is smoke? It's unburnt fuel. So you have hot air, you have fuel, and you have a low amount of energy required to actually ignite. So you're gonna have a second fire up here. That's how it works. If it weren't for this gap of air right here, this project would not work.